they're a little. Do you hear that? gorgeous morning and we have all of the doors open it's pretty rare in Arizona so this morning I was woken up to the sounds of scraping the kids got up early and they sat and scraped all this glue off right here I don't know why was there glue here maybe someone had glued that mat maybe they glued that mat down with liquid nails or something like that so today we're having the uh, concrete staining guy come by and he's gonna come give us quotes on staining the concrete, you know, making it look nice and sheen and perfect and stained. So that is step one. So Kevin's been cleaning out the garage and getting it ready. I don't know where he's been putting all the stuff, but he's been slowly cleaning it out, finding little places to put stuff. So you're pretty much, you're limited to epoxy. <clears throat> okay. So um, your garage epoxies, or on the flip side, I'll show you guys is the metallic epoxies. Oh. I saw that on my page. Where's Lydia? Thanks for waking up and doing all that scraping, Ethan. Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. <laughs> Lydia, what are you doing? Just reading? I helped scrape too. You did help scrape, thank you. Every morning we gotta get the berries. There's always new ones that are all black and ready to go. These ones are really good now that they're sweet, huh? Yeah, and they're getting way bigger too. They're like candy. You don't pick the red ones, you just pick the black ones. Just pick black ones. Yeah, there's lots up there. There's even this big one right here. Yeah, that's what it's gonna get. Pretty soon, we'll come out here and we'll be able to have plums and peaches and Go apricots. <gasps> Baby duckies! <laughs> All right, so. Which one <laughs> laid these? They laid these two wonky eggs. This one's all weird. This one's all jiggly, squishy. So now we've got to figure out which one of these actually laid the eggs. We first had to just see if any of them were going to lay. They've been in here five days now. Two eggs. Both of them are kind of wonky. This one's definitely wonky. This just means probably a mineral deficiency. Yeah. So. Matt is a tough mystery to solve. So we will have to decide what to do. What's wrong? Tilly was about to get in. Let's let these guys out. Let's watch them get out. What are you guys doing? <laughs> we are <laughs> listening to the puppy's little heartbeats. And Minnie's getting a little belly rub too. Yeah, we can, can see, see him. We can see him moving. Sometimes. It's kind of hard. Oh, see that? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. It's a heartbeat, fast or slow? Well, for I was a boy trying or to listen. I think that this side is fast. So let me see. Make our predictions. Yeah, that one's really fast, and this is the one with the. This is the bigger one. Mm -hmm. In the ultrasound, that's the bigger one, right? Even more beautiful. <laughs> She's got a little double T, but yes. we don't talk about that. <laughs> don't. Oh, it's okay. It's what makes you beautiful because you're different. Yes. Oh, oh that's good. Go, baby, baby. Her little ear goes up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so fun to look at. Like, I never get over it. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, man. The heart. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at her little. Stuff. Do you hear that? So one on this side, coming down here. So this one's head up, and this one is head down. Okay, good girl. <laughs> oh, you got oh. the kitty bee. It's a sweet baby cake. Good job, Minnie. Girl. So here's my prediction. I think this Bigger is one girl. is a boy, and smaller one is a girl. That's my prediction. Okay, Minnie? So we're gonna give her 
a bath and get her ready and we're gonna set up the puppy area. Okay, we have it all set up now. Do, do, do. The little mini puppy area is ready to go. We've gotta print out a sheet of like the week and then like the temperatures each day. Yep, we gotta start taking her temperature. She has a bath and she's been, sh her tummy's been shaved. All right, doing good. I love this time of day when it's just so cool. The entire backyard is shaded by our huge shade trees. I love it. There's all the goaties. Oh, so happy to see me. Just jumping around. Got any eggs in here? Let's see. You guys are probably really sick of being locked up, and I'm sorry about that. <gasps> I see one back there. Oh, hand in chicken poo. Gross. So, I know that none of the white ones are laying because none of the eggs have been white. And I'm trying to remember if there's a difference between the color of a barred rock and this was a barred rock and a Rhode Island red. This egg right here, this is not a leghorn. This has got to be one of those so if you guys know off the top of your head let me know I don't know I have to look it up the difference between a barred rock and a Rhode Island red they're just loving this thing man they sure love to climb it especially the balance beam oh did you fall show us what you got oh she's not gonna do it come here wonder if I had a piece of come here I'll scratch you and everything. Uh-oh. <laughs> She's like, nope, you can't be up here. Come here. Come here. She she loves people. Come here. I got a nice egg for you. Oh, Tilly's gonna do it. Tilly's like, easy peasy. Do you want an egg, Tilly? Nope. Goats don't eat eggs. <gasps> Doris can do it too. Good job, goaties. Uh-oh. Nope. <laughs> they really are getting along well. This is just, it's funny to me. They, you know, we always worry about bringing goats together. We, you know, I was really worried. I don't know if you remember that video, but I was worried because I saw some really dominant behaviors in Doris, but ever since we brought her home, she is the sweetest. They're both so sweet. I mean, they fight a little bit with Tilly, but not bad at all, and honestly, Tilly's pretty annoying, so they tolerate her really well. I'm telling you, if you haven't started your garden yet, you're missing out. No matter where you live, it's probably time to start something, right? If you're way up north where it's cold, you could probably start some roots. Probably. Go buy your potatoes. So you go buy your little potatoes like I did and start planting them. Okay, here we are in the garden. The watermelon are doing great. Cantaloupe are doing all right. I mean, they're they're greening up. That dead stuff's gonna just fall off anyway. But I probably planted them way too close to the wall. I don't know why I did that. Cantaloupe are doing good. Now I need to fill up this bed, cover it with mulch. Fill up this bed. Fill up this bed. And I'm probably gonna plant some kind of companion something in here because. I hate any space to go to waste. Look at this, this is cool. My potatoes have started to flower. They haven't actually opened up yet, but it looks like they're gonna flower. And I'm gonna have to look back at my videos and see when I planted these guys, but I think this is only a 90 day potato, so might be almost time to start harvesting. So, Truth be told, I've never planted garlic before, and I don't know how big they are. I don't know if they're tiny. They don't look super big. I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer, I think. That one looks big back there. We'll see. Definitely, definitely need to move these artichokes. 
and I just cannot wait till all my tomatoes finally start getting red. Everything's going good. These greens are staying nice and cool. They're not as bitter. Actually not bitter at all compared to the greens that are I put way over there. So good idea that I put them over here. Got lots of carrots still we're eating off of. And that's about it. So next thing on the list will be securing this trellis here, making sure that they have really sturdy place to grow on, and just kind of nurturing these plants, making sure that they grow really well. And we have plenty of cantaloupe, watermelon, and cucumbers.